All right, so I decided to separate out the review into several videos. So we're going to review one through eight, which is linear equations first. On number one, it says write an equation in slope intercept form. For a line that passes through 3, 2, and 8, 7. So the first thing we need is we need the slope. So slope is the change in y's over the change in x's. So that would be 7 minus 2 over 8 minus 3. five over five, which is one. So we know that the M is one, so Y equals MX plus B. We know that M is one. So one X plus B. So let's see if we can figure out what B is. So let's pick either point, three equals two plus B. So B is one. Now let's go to number two. Number two says give the slope and y intercept of 3x plus 5y equals 7. So I would solve for y. So my slope would be the coefficient of x, my m, and my y-intercept would be the point 0, 0,75. Use the point-slope formula. to find the slope intercept form of the equation passing through the points 4, 3, and negative 4, negative 4. So again, the first thing we need to do is find slope. We have the slope formula up above, negative 4 minus 3 over negative 4 minus 4. So that's negative 7 over negative 8. That's seven eighths. Now, if I'm using the point slope, I'm going to pick a point. I'll just pick four three because it's all positive. Y minus three equals four. Whoops, seven over eight times x minus four. And then we would distribute here. So that'd be seven over eight x minus now, 7 over 8 times 4 Well, 8 is 4 times 2. So 4 can go into 8 and leave me 2. So that's 7 halves. Now we would add 3 to the other side. So if I took negative 7 halves, and added three. Well, that's really negative seven halves plus six halves. That would be negative one half. Look. Number four says, write the slope intercept form of the equation of the line that passes through the point negative three, two, and is parallel to x plus y equals seven. So let me think about that. Parallel means the same slope. 
but let me solve for y here. The slope of this line is negative one. So my slope is also negative one. I'm gonna use point slope because I like it. Y minus two equals negative one times X minus a negative three. So X plus three. Now it did want the answer in slope intercept form. So I need to solve for Y. And then we would just add the two over. Number five, we're going to the same point. But this time it says it's perpendicular to x plus y equals seven. So this slope was negative one. The negative reciprocal to that would be positive one. All right, continue. Number six, talking about a graph. So number six says to graph, oops, graph 2x minus 3y plus 12 equals zero. There's a couple of ways to do this. I can use my x-intercepts or I can solve for y. You're welcome to solve for y. I kind of like the x-intercept method. So I'm gonna set, move that 12 over. For the x-intercept or intercept method, the x-intercept is when y is zero. So if y is zero, that term would be zero, and I get two x equals negative 12, x is negative six. The y-intercept is when x is zero. So I would cover that up, x is zero, that's gone. I get negative three y equals negative 12, y is four. So if I graph that, and I have a little graph here that I'm gonna end up taping down in a second. My x-intercept's at negative six, and my y-intercepts at four. And then I would just connect the dots. Shoop. Now, could you have also solved for y? Well, yeah. So I got y equals two thirds x plus four. Y intercepts at four, up two over three, back down two, back three. It works whichever way you do it. Number seven, the horizontal line through three, negative eight. Now let's remember a horizontal line is gonna be across like that. It's gonna be a y equals. So guess what? That's just y equals negative eight. Uh, number eight, vertical line through negative two, seven. Well, a vertical line is just an x equals. Done.